We have, we have decided to hold the protest here um, and, and address the press on um, the actions that, that we are taking and its implication. You recall that last week we had asked, um, and, uh, you know, recommended that the president ascend to the bill by February 22nd. Today is February 22nd. We are still hopeful that he will ascend to the bill um, because of the implication that it has for the dates of the election. So we're still going to be calling on the president and we'll be exerting citizens' pressure. We're glad, as you can see, citizens have come out, which shows how important the electoral bill is for Nigerians. And as the president of the Nigerian people, he should listen to Nigerians and assent to the bill. But we must also make it clear that this particular effort is just informed by the provisions of Clause 28 of the Electoral Bill that provides or requires INEC to do what? To issue notice of election 360 days. And we stated in our statement last week that if the president fails to ascend to the bill after or before 22nd, then INEC will have no option but to shift election dates. And it is too early in the day to start shifting election dates. Um, address all the legal uncertainties that would accrue or result out, out as a result of, um, you know, shifts in date. I think this confusion is needless. And if the president has any issue with any particular clause, we've urged him to send an amendment to the National Assembly to amend that particular clause. But any further delay would really not bode well for the integrity of the of the electoral process. Because okay, we've seen a statement from the presidency uh, saying people and groups are calling for the or advocating for the president to sign this electoral bill are playing politics with um, the bill. According to Femi Adeshina, he called it a um, saber rattling. How do you react to that? I think as civil as civil society and as and as Nigerians, we will not join issues with the spokesman of the president. We are performing our constitutional duty um, um, to, to ask the president to assent to the bill. Um, the civil society groups have paid close attention to this bill. We've engaged from an issue-based manner. Um, our statements are very clear. Last week when we issued a statement, we noted the provisions of section 58 of the constitution that provides 30 days, a timeline for the president to, to consider um, whether to assent or withhold assent to a particular bill. We stated, but the reason why this action is conducted on this day is because of the expediency um, that is required on the part of, of the president to assent to the bill by 22nd of February. It has implications for the date of elections. And we didn't want a situation where there will be uncertainty as to the dates of the elections. If the president does not assent to the bill today, we would have to move the date of the election. And, and that's the point that civil society and citizens have made. Um, it, it's sad that the, 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 the president spokesman um, spoke in that manner, but we will not join issues with him. We, we, we have stated the provisions of the constitution and the positions of the law, and we continue to urge the president to assent to the bill today. And if he does that today, INEC will have to issue notice of elections. Uh, there will be no need to shift the date. So this confusion is actually is, is needless. Um, on the issue around um, playing politics, we are performing our constitutional duty. And we have engaged this process from the beginning, and we will follow this to its logical conclusion to see that what is in the best interest of Nigerians is done. Is it true that you have been pressured by the DSS to drop this process? No, we never had any discussion with the DSS. Um, the DSS never pressured us. Um, we had discussions um, with the police. As you can see, we invited the police. The police is here to provide protection, as well as the Federal Road Safety Corps. And they've been very professional and very cordial. We've not had any cause to worry um, since we started the discussions and, uh, and the decision on, on the protest was reached on Friday. I think uh, okay. if you remember the press conference, you know, what we said was, if he doesn't sign the bill, we're going to come out today. And as at today, as at this morning as we speak, the president had not signed the bill. And what we are here as civil society doing is to pressurize, okay. is to call on him, yeah, President Mohamed Buhari, to please sign the bill. To go ahead and sign the bill. That's all we're asking for. You can see it's not so massive today because it's a few organizations that are here. We will go into more mobilization if things are not done. And I don't know if the president is the current National Assembly. 
has the capacity because of what they have done. Because the president has turned down this to veto the president is their constitutional powers. But we don't Thank know if this is where we're going, we're going you know, but uh, they have Please. the opportunity. Let's but the president back. still has the opportunity to right the wrong. Six times, this is the sixth time. Yes, 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 yes. We have free, fair, credible and transparent election. There's no option then for the president to assent to what Nigerians have combassed, what Nigerians have demanded, what Nigerians are actually willing to see to improve electoral, pro I mean, electoral transparency in Nigeria. Failure to do this within this time framework will draw us back to the era of analog, to the era of perpetual rigging, to the era of electoral violence, to the area of electoral manipulation and destruction of public trust on the electoral process. That's what the implication for the President Bahari is doing. Okay, the impression we are getting from the President Thank is you. that Please the give President will sign this um, bill the and it appears as if uh, civil society groups and other groups are just playing politics with it. There's, we are not politicians. We don't do politics. Civil society the one that I belong to and the one Thank that you, my please. colleagues let's here are, let's they are come, not politicians. We are not politicians, we didn't do politics, we only advocate for the public interest. And knowing the implication as of not signing this act, we have the duty as, you know, um, conscious of the society to draw the attention of the lawmakers, to draw the attention of the executive, to draw the attention of every stakeholders to ensure that we have signed this electoral act that will help us improve in our electoral process in Nigeria. Okay. Why are you doing that? Because it will deepen the integrity of the results collation process, which is one of the weakest links, you know, in our electoral process. The bill also gives INEC the power to review election results declared under duress. And the implication is politicians will be discouraged, will, will be dissuaded you know, from doing, from compelling INEC officials to alter results um, under duress or falsify results. So INEC can now reject results that are, that are falsified, it makes provisions for early release of funds to INEC because it provides that INEC will receive, you know, its funding for elections one year before the elections. In 2019, INEC only got its funding for elections six months to the elections. And one of the reasons why the election was postponed was due to logistic reasons. And so, if the bill is assented into law, INEC will have all the monies that it requires for the conduct of the elections. So there are several reasons why this bill is too important to be ignored, why this bill is too important for any further delay in assenting to the, to, to, um, to the bill. But let me also note that all the organizations who have been involved in this are not just hosting you know, this protest out of the blues. We have engaged this process for, I would say, seven years. From when the Eighth Assembly began the process of amending the law, and you know it was declined four times, um, to when the Ninth Assembly started. We've had meetings, we have advocacy, uh, we have petitions, there are lots of press conferences. In fact, the last one was hosted last week, Friday, where we hosted a press conference on this particular issue. You also note that last year, civil society groups also identified errors and cross-referencing gaps in the bill. And we told the Nigerian people and called on the National Assembly to review and resolve those errors. We are happy to report to the Nigerian people that based on the bill that we have seen, that we have reviewed, the National Assembly has resolved those drafting errors and those cross-referencing gaps in about 98% of all the issues that we raised were resolved. So you see, we've been engaging this process. And this is just one out of a series of activities that civil society groups um, have been um, conducting. Some of you have referred to um, statements made by the presidency yesterday directed at civil society. And like we have mentioned, we will not join issues with the spokesperson. And every one of you, leading to even this morning, the media has had a storm for the bill. And what we're asking the president to do is sign the bill. He rejected this bill how many times? Five times. This is the sixth time. We are calling on him as a father of the nation to sign the bill. 
I want you to know that each and every one of you is responsible for upholding and defending the constitution of Nigeria. The constitution is not just one person's responsibility. We know that more than 400 members of the National Assembly have passed this bill. And it's still so sometimes we also don't know where the problems are. But because each time the bill is returned to the National Assembly, they add another clause before it goes to the president. So is this a conspiracy against the Nigerian people? Is this a conspiracy to rig elections? But we acknowledge the speedy way in which the, the, the National Assembly passed this bill in 2022. And we are urging the president to do the, the same manner. You know, we are not speaking so much today, but to ask him to sign the bill. For we are not, what do we say to president? Sign the bill. What do we say to the president? Sign the bill. What do we say to the president? Sign the bill. What do we say to the National Assembly? Sign the bill. If the bill, if he doesn't sign, not to override to veto. But what we are even saying now, the president made a promise to Nigerians on the national uh, television. A promise is a promise. Yes. And so right now, we need to watch it. We are happy that uh, Femi Adesina has said this morning that the president is going to sign the bill in hours. We are not here to claim the glory. We are not here to claim the glory for being here for matching the bill. The media has been here. The media has been there from the beginning. Almost all radio stations, all television stations, very distinguished personality in the media, they have worked so hard. Just give us a bit. The greatest Nigerian youth, the greatest of the greatest of the greatest Bobo, of the greatest Baba, of the greatest Big B. I want to hear, I want to hear, I want to hear, I want to hear, I want to hear. Oh!